This video is going to walk us through the steps for the application problem 1-2.2 in our accounting class. So I have it opened already. Um, the transactions are here. We have eight transactions to complete. We have directions here uh, about a company owned by Bethany Hartman. And then we have our problem right here that we're going to fill in. So I'll just read the directions quickly. Bethany Hartman is starting a Hartman's Lawn Service, which is a small service business. Hartman's uses the account shown in the following equation. So right here are the accounts. She has cash, uh, supplies. These are all the assets. So cash, supplies, and prepaid insurance. Here's our wall, our equal sign. Uh, they equal the accounts payable, which is NAP company. So remember, this is a company that we owe money to. We have another account uh, liability called Hickman Mowing. So this is something else we owe money to. And then here's the owner's equity, Bethany Hartman Capital. So remember the balance for our equation, everything has to remain in balance. Our assets must always equal the liabilities plus owner's equity. Also notice that the beginning balance, because this is a brand new balance, is starting out as zeros. So all the zeros are all the way across. So our directions, we have to analyze each transaction to determine which counts uh, are in the accounting equation that are affected. We have to use a plus and minus signs where appropriate. And then we have to calculate the new balance before moving on to the next transaction. So transaction one is given as an example. So here's our transaction one, received cash from the owner as an investment of $5,000. So think of you as the owner, you have $5,000 sitting somewhere in your home or in your savings account and you wanna start your own lawn mowing business. So you are putting that $5,000 into your business. So what we do down here then is we have cash that's affected the $5,000 and because it's going into her business it's affecting owner's equity. So here's the number one for the number one transaction we put a plus sign 5,000 in cash and then we put a plus sign 5,000 in owner's equity and then we do the math from above so we had zero to begin with plus 5,000 so our new balance here is 5,000. We just carry down the zeros because nothing was affected there zero plus 5,000, 5,000 here. So now this is the new balance that we're starting with when, before we do transaction two. So transaction two, paid cash for insurance. So the first thing that you probably have to do when you open your own business is buy insurance. So it's $1,800. So cash is an asset and insurance, we remember is prepaid insurance, that is also an asset. So cash is gonna go down because we're paying cash but insurance is gonna go up because we now have insurance. So when we go down here, here's our two accounts that are affected, cash and um, insurance, and we have the $1,800. So right here, this little box is your minus sign for cash, minus, and $1,800. And for our insurance, this is gonna go up, so we have our plus sign, $1,800. We don't put anything in any of these other boxes right here. We just leave them blank because nothing else was affected. Supplies weren't affected. Nothing else was affected. Now the new balance, we take whatever was above and we do the math. So 5,000 minus $1,800 is $3,200. Nothing was affected here. So we plug in the zero. Zero plus $1,800 is here. Zero, zero. And now we had $5,000 above and nothing changed in that one. So we have to carry the $5,000 down um, to continue. Now, how do we check this? Well, we take our assets. So we have $3,200 in this box. We have $1,800 in this box. We add those together and we get 5,000. So we have 5,000 of assets equals 5,000 in owner's equity. So that's how you can check your work along the way. Third transaction, bought supplies on account from Hickman Mowing, $700. So this is another buy now, pay later. So we have one asset supplies that's going to increase, but we also now have a debt that we're going to owe to somebody. Maybe we had to get a new lawnmower or a new weed whacker or whatever else we need to do our run our business, and it cost us $700. But we used uh, kind of like a credit card type of a, a Thing that we think of in our head but we buy it now and we pay later so down below here's our transaction for number three 
we are going to have new supplies. So we're going to put plus in the supplies for 700. And now we have a debt to pay for that accounts payable Hickman mowing. So we're going to have a plus here and $700 here. Because now we had a zero balance that we owed them, but now we owe them $700. Remember, whatever happens on one side of this wall has to happen on the other. So if we have an increase on something here, we have to have an increase on over on this side. No other accounts are affected, so now our new balance, we carry down previous balances. Zero plus 700, now we have 700 here. We still have 1800 here, zero here. 700 here and 5,000 here. I'm sorry, 5,000, not 8. So if we did the math to make sure everything's in balance, we have the three assets. We add 3,200 plus 700 plus 1,800 should equal the 700 plus the 5,000. So 5,700 on each side of the equation. So go ahead and try to do the rest of these, and then I will check your work. Okay, I finished filling all of the rest of these transactions in, and I hope you did as well, so let's see how we did. I believe I left off on transaction three, so the next one, number four, bought supplies on account from Knapp Company, $200. So we scroll down here. In transaction number four, we add $200 to our supplies, so plus 200 here. And now we also have a debt to uh, accounts payable Knapp Company, so we add $200 to that debt. Bringing down the balances then, if there's nothing there, it stays the same. If we have some math, then we take 700 plus the 200 and get 900 and so forth. And always make sure again that your assets equals your liabilities plus owner's equity. Number five, bought, or I'm sorry, paid cash on account to Hickman Mowing. So now we paid some of our loan back to Hickman Mowing. So our cash is gonna go down, but our debt is gonna also go down by $300. So for number five, we subtract 300 in cash, and we subtract $300 from this uh, bill that we had uh, right here. So we originally owed them 700, but we paid them 300, so then the new balance is $400. So if you think of it that way in your head, it makes more sense. You started with owing somebody 700, you paid them 300, so now what you do you still owe them? $400. So the new balances are listed here for uh, after transaction five. Number six, paid cash for supplies. So we bought some uh, supplies for cash. Um, those are both assets. So you're going to have one going up and one going down in our assets. So here's number six. Uh, we subtract $100 in the cash, but we uh, added $100 to our supplies. So we originally had $900 worth of supplies, added $100, and the new balance then would be $1,000. We had a, a balance of cash of $2,900. We subtract $100 and we get now the $2,800. Nothing else has changed, so just carry those balances down. Number seven, paid cash on account to NAP, $100. So we have to then subtract $100 in cash and our bill to make sure you're in the right column, accounts payable NAP company, uh, we paid $100. So we originally owed them two. We subtract $100 that we pay them and our new balance to them is $100. So those are the balances there. And our last one, received cash from owner as an investment, $1,000. So the owner, you, or Bethany in this case, put $1,000 more into her business. So it looks just like the first transaction. We increased $1,000 in cash, and we increased $1,000 in the owner's equity, the value of the business. So 27 plus 1,000 is 3,700. Carry everything else down, and 5,000 plus 1,000 is 6,000. So then what you should always do at the end is add up your assets and make sure they equal your liabilities plus owner's equity. Remember this wall, I wish I would have darkened it in, but this side of this equation must equal this side of the equation. And if you did, if everything's in balance, everything should equal and work out perfectly. So go ahead and finish this problem and let me know if you have any questions.